Hello and welcome. You are logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for news from India, UK, Canada, Punjab, and Gujarat in English, Punjabi, and Gujarati, with a list of well-established businesses and resources that you may need. I am Sangram Singhar Thor, and today's headlines are: In India, tech titan Google had mysteriously coded the UIDAI helpline number into phones, and the government has withdrawn the social media hub plan. In UK. PM Theresa May and French President Emmanuel Macron are set to discuss Brexit and an Indian origin man has grown the world's longest cucumber. In Punjab, the court has framed charges against Dera Satcha Sauda Chief Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh and the Supreme Court has sought to know if the turban can be worn by Sikh athletes with helmets. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, UK and Punjab. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are Google has admitted that it is to be blamed for the mysterious appearance of an outdated Aadhaar helpline number in the contact lists of phones. The UIDAI telecom operators and handset vendors denied any role in it. Many citizens feared a breach of privacy amid the ongoing debate around the security of the Aadhaar system. The center has told the Supreme Court that it has withdrawn the proposal for setting up a social media communication hub. Weeks earlier, the Apex Court termed the government's proposal to monitor online data akin to creating a surveillance state. The centre has finally cleared the Uttarakhand High Court Chief Justice K. M. Joseph as a judge of the top court. Seven months earlier, the Supreme Court Collegium had recommended his elevation. The development is a sign of improvement in relations between the judiciary and the executive, which have been at loggerheads. The Congress has alleged in the Lok Sabha that a senior executive of a prominent news channel and two other staffers had recently quit due to the pressure from the government for airing stories critical of the ruling establishment. Information and Broadcasting Minister Rajyavardhan Singh Rathore refuted the allegation. Fugitive diamond trader Mehul Choksi acquired citizenship without any legal hurdles because India did not provide any adverse information regarding him. The government of Antigua and Barbuda has said. Choksi is a co-accused in the scam involving several public sector banks in India. Bihar CM Nitish Kumar has expressed deep anguish over the Muzaffarpur shelter home sex scandal. He stressed on the need to develop institutional mechanisms to prevent recurrence of such incidents. 34 out of the 42 shelter home inmates were sexually exploited at the state-funded shelter home. The BJP in Maharashtra has scored a big win in the local body polls held in Jalgaon and Sangli Miraj Kupwar Municipal Corporation. The victory comes in the midst of the ongoing agitation by the Maratha community for reservation in government jobs and education. Two unidentified militants and a security man have been killed in a gunfight in North Kashmir's Sopur sub-district. Authorities closed all schools and colleges in Sopur to avoid any law and order situation. Mobile internet was also suspended in the area. PV Sindhu has assured India of a medal at the BWF World Championships after storming into the semi-finals in China. The Rio Olympic silver medalist knocked out defending champion Nozomi 21-17, 21-19 to advance. Actors Deepika Padukone and Ranveer Singh were recently having some private time together in the US as a video appeared on social media that shows the power couple walking hand in hand on the streets. However, a fan who claims to have recorded the video has now accused the Padmavat stars of attacking her for the act. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from UK and Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from UK are PM Theresa May has headed to French President Emmanuel Macron's summer LEC palace on the Mediterranean coast. She is seeking to soften resistance to a Brexit plan which has offended her government while failing to win over skeptical European Union negotiators. A 75-year-old Indian origin Sikh man, Rajbir Singh Sanghera, has grown a giant cucumber in the English city of Derby. He claims that praying to the cucumber daily has helped the red vegetable grow to a potential world record site. Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt has vowed to do everything possible to bring home charity worker Nazneen Zakari Ratcliffe, who is jailed in Iran. She was sentenced to five years in prison in 2016 for spying. However, Nazneen has denied all the allegations against her. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn is facing opposition from Jewish organisations over plans to deliver a speech at a Jewish venue. The Labour Party had approached the Jewish Museum in London to ask if Corbyn can speak at the venue. Welsh Labour deputy leader Carolyn Harris is facing pressure to quit her front bench Westminster role as a shadow equalities minister. There have been calls from a senior Labour activist for the suspension of Harris over an alleged case slur. 
The Bank of England Governor Mark Carney has claimed that the possibility of a no deal Brexit is uncomfortably high and highly undesirable. Carney has said that the prospect of UK leaving the European Union without a deal is a relatively unlikely possibility but it can still happen. Online retail giant Amazon's UK tax bill fell last year despite a near trebling of profits. Amazon UK Services corporate tax bill was 4.6 million pounds down from 7.4 million a year earlier. However, the division which operates the warehouse fulfillment center was able to defer 2.9 million pounds. A 10-year-old differently abled boy was eligibly made to prove that he has a disability when an airline administrative error put his flight in jeopardy. The mother of the boy claims that she is appalled with the humiliating treatment at Split Airport. The Northern Rail has apologized after a disabled passenger was told that she cannot travel with a mobility scooter despite being sold a ticket. The woman has filmed her experience on board a train on her way to a wedding which has gone viral on social media. Two Croatian football fans were stabbed during violence before Rangers played Osijek in Glasgow. Up to 60 people were involved in the trouble in Govan before the Europa League game. The injured were taken to the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital. I'll be back till lockdown to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are A Panchkula court has formally charged Dera Sacha Soda head Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh in connection with forced castration of some of his followers. He is also charged with punishment for cheating and voluntarily causing grievous hurt by dangerous weapons. The Supreme Court has sought to know if turban can be worn by Sikh athletes with helmets during participation in sporting events such as cycling. However, the Supreme Court's query is applicable if only the decision does not affect faith of at least. Aam Aadmi Party's national leadership has planned to hold a series of meetings to counter the impact of Matinda Convention, which was organized by ousted leader of opposition Sukhpal Khaira. However, Aam Aadmi Party claims that the convention was a failure. Former Cabinet Minister Bikram Singh Majithia has demanded an inquiry into the incidents of sacrilege by a sitting Supreme Court judge. The demand came during a press conference in Hoshiarpur. Majithia also criticized the Congress for installing a friendly sacrilege committee. Local bodies minister Navjot Singh Sidhu has said that the newly elected PM of Pakistan, Imran Khan, offers hope for better Indo-Pak relations. Sidhu is invited along with some other cricket players from the country in Khan's oath taking ceremony on August 11. Aam Aadmi Party's Haryana unit has alleged a scam in the Department of Town and Country Planning related to an affordable housing scheme in the state. Aam Aadmi Party Haryana media in charge Sudhir Yadav claimed that according to the affordable housing policy, rates are clearly defined. The Punjab and Haryana High Court has asked SIT in charge in more blast case to appear before the bench after expressing dissatisfaction with the status support submitted. The petitioner has demanded that the probe should be handed over to the NIA or CBI. The government has allocated rupees 16 crore to Baba Farid University of Health Science. Following this, hope for completion of tertiary cancer care centre in Fazilka has been rekindled. The state allotted the first instalment of rupees 16 crore for the completion of the building. The Punjab and Haryana High Court has found fault in the 30-year-old narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances rules. The court has found fault in a provision that allows a person to possess up to 100 doses at a time, which is in conflict with the law. The centre has appointed retired Justice Darshan Singh as the Chief Commissioner for Gurdwara elections. A communication by the Union Ministry of Home Affairs was placed by the Punjab and Haryana High Court in this regard. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-UK businesses and resources from accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Fane Khan is ready to hit the theatres today. But before audiences, Fane Khan was seen by many industry people including King Khan, Shah Rukh Khan. Recently, a special screening was held in the city which was attended by Anil's close friends from the industry. One of the closest friends of Anil, that is Shah Rukh Khan, also marked his presence at the screening. Some photos from the screening are out in which Anil and Shah Rukh are smiling together while arriving for the screening. Where Shah Rukh was seen wearing a grey t-shirt and black cargo pants, Anil wore a green sweatshirt and jeans. King Khan kept his arm over Anil's shoulder while walking together towards the theatre. Just a day back, Anil shared a video of Shah Rukh and him, where Shah Rukh spoke about Anil Kapoor and confessed. When you see such a talent, hard-working actor,
Meanwhile, Anil Kapoor praised Shah Rukh and captioned the video, "He is truly one of the kindest actors you will ever meet. That very quality of his makes Shah Rukh a funny Khan in my eyes. Thank you for the person that you are, and for always being so supportive." Funny Khan also stars Ashwarya Rai Bachchan and Rajkumar Rao. Might be Bollywood actor Amir Khan has turned Mr. Perfectionist now, but his life hasn't been all that perfect always. He revealed that he used to cry over the films that didn't do well. But then I learned art this film me करने के बाद मुझे realize हुआ कि यार ये तीनों चीजें equally important हैं. कहानी और script बहुत अच्छी होनी चाहिए. जो आदमी उसको narrate करेगा, director वो बहुत अच्छा होना चाहिए. और producer भी अच्छा होना चाहिए. वरना हमारी सब की मेहनत waste होती है. I'll give an example. Romantic scene है. लिखा है राइटर ने रोमांटिक सीन के ये हीरो जो है वो एक पहाड़ पे खड़ा होकर गाना गा रहा है अब जब मैं वो कहानी पढ़ता हूँ या सुनता हूँ तो मुझे लगता है कि यार ये हम लोग शूट करेंगे कश्मीर में ऊटी में कुल्लू मनाली में डायरेक्टर सोच रहे हैं हम खंडाला में करेंगे वहाँ पे भी पहाड़ी है और प्रोड्यूसर ने फिल्म सिटी बुक किया दो टीले वहाँ पर भी हैं तो तो यू वेन यू स्टार्ट वर्किंग यू रियलाइज कि यार आप कहाँ सोच रहे थे आपने कौन सा विजन देखा था वो पता नहीं कहाँ जाके पहुँच गए तो in the in the initial stages there will be disappointments i used to cry every night roz raat ko main rota tha ke ye kya kaam kar raha hu itna but when i look back today bhi 30 saal ho gaye mujhe wo jo pehli 10 film mein maine ki hai na jo shayad itni achhi film mein nahi hai aur jo bahut hi nakamyab rahi hai that was my biggest learning to often It is important to get piss out a little bit. थोड़ा पिसना जरूरी होता है for you to you know understand you know मतलब अगर मैं शुरुआत में ही बोलूँ कि एक मिनट मुझे सब मालूम है और मैं अपना rights नहीं दूँगा जैसे आपने बोला है अब हो सकता है आप बहुत झगड़ा करेंगे producer के साथ I'm saying sometimes in the initial stages you have to get piss out little for you to realize yourself कि what is important to me now. However, on film front, Amir will next be seen in Thugs of Hindustan.